Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to do audio classification. So we're going to use the same teachable machine as we did in the last video, where we did uh, an object classification, where we could like see different kind of like hand gestures, so a thumbs up, a, a victory sign, or stuff like that. But in this video here, we're going to do audio classification. So we're going to classify different kind of like uh, audios or like sounds that we're going to play. So we're going to train the neural networks online with the teachable machine as we did in the last video. So we're going to record some different kind of like audio classes and then we're going to train our actual neural network on audio. And then at the end of the video, we're going to do actual predictions on the audio classification or like the audio neural network that we have trained. But first of all, we're going to join the Discord server. I'll link to it down in the description here. And you can come join the Discord server, chat with us about computer vision, deep learning, artificial intelligence and so on. Also remember to hit the subscribe button under the video here. It really helps me and the YouTube channel out uh, in a massive way. And I'm just really thankful for it. You can now also become a member of the channel if you want to support the channel like even more than you're currently doing with a small monthly fee and everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel. So thank you guys. So let's jump straight into the Teachable machine here um, in the browser. So you can actually just go to Google uh, and type in Teachable machine. You'll get up this interface here where you can open, uh, open up, for example, existing projects from your drive, or you can even like um, open up existing projects for files, or you can even go down here and create a new project for both image, image, image like classification, audio classification, or like pose estimation. So we can classify between different kinds of poses that you're training your neural network on. So in the last video, we talked about image, uh, this image project he here, where you can do classification on different kind of classes that we're actually like training our neural network network on. So we actually just go, go into this project. We actually like generate some, uh, some data sets that are like, we, we create these different kind of classes. Then we generate a data set for each of the, each of the individual classes. We train our neural network here in the cloud, and then we can actually like put both, both do uh, predictions and a neural network inference here um, in the teachable machine in the cloud provided by Google. Or we can even like get a sample of like how we can deploy our neural network in our own code on a local machine or even like on embedded objects or like embedded systems like raspberries, jets and nanos and so on. But in this video here, we're going to go into the audio project. So we're going to do a classification on audios or like different kinds of sounds that we're going to train our neural network on. So first of all here, we can see that we need some background noise. So we need to add some uh, audio samples, which where we, uh, where we have a minimum requirement of 20 uh, audio samples. So we can either use like the microphone or we can upload our own like sound files. If we, for example, have some different kind of si sound files on our computer and we just want to train our model, then we can do it here in the cloud, uh, get the most efficient neural network uh, provided here by Google. And then we can just download it later on and use it in our own project. But in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the microphone to generate both the background noise and also different uh, types of classes. So we can actually like do classification of different kind of audios or like sounds that we're going to do predictions on at the end of the video. So first of all, we're, what we're going to do is that we're going to hit this microphone button. Then we can see that we need to allow Google to actually be able to use our microphone and then we just hit allow. Then we can see that we actually like, we need to record this background noise here. So we need at least uh, 20, uh, 20 samples where we have to record our background noise for 20 seconds. So I'm just going to hit this 20 seconds record here and then it will actually like, uh, capture the background so we can then classify between different kinds of sound, sounds and actually like subtract the background from that so we don't get any background noise, noise into our model when we're going to do predictions. So now when we have recorded the background noise for 20 seconds, then we can see we get this sample up here at the top. Then we need to hit, it, hit this extract sample button. Uh, so when we do this here, we would actually like extract all of these 20 seconds into e each of the individual samples where each of the, the uh, each of the samples have uh, a duration of one second. And then we can see when we record for 20 seconds, we get 20 samples and that is the minimum for our background noise. So now we have to actually have our background noise. We have extracted the samples. So now we can go down at the bottom and actually like create the classes for the different kind of sounds that we want to classify between. So first of all here, we're just going to have a clap. So this will, we'll just name the, the, the first class clap. Then we need to go down here, hit the microphone, and then we need to record for two seconds in this example here. So I'm going to hit uh, record for two seconds and then I'm just going to hit clap. And then we need at least eight, uh, eight samples in this example here to do the actual like, classification. So I'm just going to hit record now and then clap for two seconds. So as we can see now, we actually have eight of these audio samples over to the right here. So we actually have eight classes or like eight samples of, of, the, of a clap now. 
for this clap class. Then we can go down here at the bottom and hit class, uh, add a new class. So we're going to add an additional class. So we both have like the background artist, then we have clap, and then we're gonna add another class here and we're just going to call that um, whistling. So I'm just going to hit microphone uh, again. Then we can record for two seconds and I'm just going to whistle uh, while I record for these two seconds. And again, we need a minimum eight samples. So we're going to record like this four times because we're extracting each of the samples for uh, for like one second. So that will be um, eight seconds recorded totally. And then we'll divide those into eight samples. So this is the minimum requirements. If you want like a more accurate, more precise model, then you'll all call, of course need to re uh, record more samples. And also if you have more classes and you want like high accuracy, you will need more samples and stuff like that. But in this example, we're just going to have like two or three classes. We're just going to take the minimum and then we'll still see that we get a really high accuracy at the end of the video here when we're going to do predictions on like audio files or like audio samples that it hasn't trained on before. So here we're just going to uh, record it for two seconds. So again, we now have eight uh, eight samples of, uh, of a whistle here. So the last class that we're going to add is just like a, like a snap. So we're just going to snap with the fingers. And then this is the last class that we're going to create before we're going to train our neural network. So again, we just hit this microphone button. We, we generate eight samples with the, like the sound files where we're doing snaps. And then we just train our model afterwards. So I'm just going to hit microphone and then I can actually just hit record two seconds and then just snap with my finger uh, while we're recording. So we're going to hit extract sample and then we're just going to record again. Extract sample and we're going to record. So now we actually like have all of these eight samples, as we can see, we have eight audio samples for all of our classes. So now we have all the three classes that we actually like want to train our model on. So now when we have the classes, we can just go over here to the right. Uh, and then we have this training tab. We can just hit directly train model if we don't want to tune any of the parameters. If you just want to like create a basic uh, class bar or you don't really know like what is going down, uh, like what is going on here in the advanced tab. But we can actually like set the number of epochs and we can also get some under the hood statistics, which I can see that we can't really get uh, right now for this model or like for this project yet. But we can tune the number of epochs here and we don't really want to go into details with that. We're just going to hit train model. So now we're actually like preparing our training data. So it is extracting all of these different kind of like classes and the audio files. Then it is actually like pre-processing it. Now we can just see it took like two seconds. It took two, like one second, one second to actually like train this whole neural network here with all of these different kind of like audio files. And now we can see over here to the right, we actually get a preview over uh, what it is actually like predicting. So now we can see it is just flickering around because I'm just talking here. So there's not really like a specific sound that we have actually like trained our, uh, our classifier on. But we can see that we can see the, uh, like we can see the inputs up here to our neural network. And then we can see the outputs down here at the bottom. So I just moved the webcam here a bit so we can actually like see what is going on down here in the output. So we have the input and then we have the output down here. And as I just said, it's just flickering around here because I'm just talking and this is not really the classes that we're trained on. It's a bit more biased uh, towards the background noise because it's not really certain what's going on and it's more background noise than the other uh, free classes. But if I start with, for example, a clap here, We can see it just directly goes up to 100% accuracy. So it's a really nice and efficient and also really accurate uh, model here where we get a really high accuracy when we're actually like doing the classes that we're uh, like class classifying in. So I can also do a whistle here and then we can see the results down here at the bottom. And this is the purple one in this example. Directly to 100, it, it, it is not really uncertain. It just goes directly to 100 when I start whistling. Instant, instantly, it just instantly predicts that this is actually like a bristle and we can do the same thing with the snap here at the end. And if there's no noise at all, it just predicts that this is actually a background as we are kept captured in the start of the video. So this is actually like really cool and really nice. And we can even go into like exporting a model, imp implementing and loading it in into our own application and do a lot of different kind of like and cool projects that we can do. We can add all the classes that we want. We can also like have some different kind of like speed classes or like some alarms and stuff like that. So if an alarm goes off, then we actually like um, 
then we can actually like detect that or like if a glass breaks we can also detect that with the voices we can pass it through our neural network here so we can actually like go in and create really nice applications and projects uh, with this model here it took one second to train when i hit this train model button here it just took one second to prepare the data it took one second to actually like train the model and then and this is the actual results that we get from that train model that only took like one second we can all, even play around with the overlap factor here so like how much we actually like want to our, uh, our uh, samples here how much we want them to overlap for example uh, if they are not really divided into like sample by sample uh, the classes that we want to do predictions on but again, this is just really nice and really cool. And in later videos, I'm going to show you how we can actually export the models. As we can see, we can even go in here and we can get some different kind of like code snippets, how to actually export a model and use it in our own projects, both in, in TensorFlow with JavaScript and also TensorFlow Lite. If we want to uh, deploy it on an Android device or something like that, we get like uh, just a short description over how we can set it up, how we can export a model and so on. So I'm going to show you this in in, uh, in other videos. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification under the video so you know and get a notification when I upload a new video about like either teachable machine, about post estimation, or how we can actually like deploy these neural networks or like these machine learning models in actual code on embedded devices or on a computer in our own applications and projects because this is just really nice, really cool, really efficient. We can train our neural networks really fast. They're easy to export and use in our own projects. And even generating the data set, we don't need to like, we don't need to write any code at all. We don't need to pre-process our data. We don't need to take into account like how is our data, data like distributed? How, how can we generate our data in the best possible way? We just go into teaching machine here, generate our classes that we want to do classification on. We hit the, the microphone or the webcam if we want to do image classification. And then we just generate our data, train our model, do predictions, export it, and then we can just use it in our own model. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember to hit the subscribe button under the video here. And also like this video if you like the content and you want more in the future. Because again, it, it just really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. And I'm just really excited about this community that we're building. I'm also doing a computer vision tutorial where we're going over like the basic stuff about uh, computer vision operations on images and so on. And also how we can use their vision to like uh, get depth information in images and camera calibration and so on, which is also really cool and used in a lot of like real real life applications. So I'll link to the tutorial up here or else I'll just see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.